Today I'm going to help you set up your standing desk correctly so your whole setup and your posture is right for standing but also teach you how you're going to transfer that into sitting because a lot of people who are using standing desks also need to sit down for some of the day. You've got to make sure that your standing posture or standing setup then translate into a good setup when you're sitting down because that is crucial. So there's no point having a really good standing posture if you then sit down for two hours in a bad setup because you haven't changed it from the standing. So I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks of what to do with your sit to stand desk. Now, there's different types of sit to stand desk. This one is a sort of portable one, if you like, that you put into a reception desk, okay, or a fixed desk. So some of you at work or at home don't have a fancy electronic one that goes up and down. And for this sort of setup, obviously we need to use one that's a portal one that goes inside that, okay? But you can still sit and stand effectively with these ones, and these ones are great because they can go up and down really good for these workplace environments. Um, but the ideas I give you today can also translate into the electronic ones. Now, let's have a look at this standing version first, and I'm gonna show you what to do, and then we're gonna translate that into sitting. So with the standing one, Al, do you wanna show us how you pull that one up? This is a manual sit to stand desk. It's got clips on the side. Obviously, it comes up like that, and it can have varying heights. Now, obviously, this needs to go high enough for the person who's using it. Now, for Al, she's not tall, like six foot like me, so this one is gonna be perfect because she can get this up the right height. What we've gotta make sure of, though, is the first thing is first, that she needs to be, well, the first thing we need to do is work out her keyboard. We'll worry about the monitor in a minute. Get that keyboard right. So when she's with her keyboard, her arms need to be mostly at sort of right angles or a little bit below. What you don't want to be is up like this, okay, in that position, because what you're going to end up doing is probably just hitching your shoulders up like that. So they've actually got to be relaxed and down. The interesting thing about when you sit to stand desk is you don't have any support under the elbows when you're standing. So it's the only con about standing is it's going to put a little bit of demand here. However, because you're active, most people can handle that okay. They actually get more problems in the traps when they're sitting down. So that's the only thing about that. If you're getting some fatigue there, you may find it's just because you don't have any support here, all right? But as long as this position here is not above 90 degrees, you're basically okay. What you don't want is it, you don't want it super low. You don't want your keyboard way down low. So this keyboard can't be down here or anything like that. It needs to be up on that position there. Now, if you look closely at Al, her eyesight is looking down at that screen. So this screen here is not in the right position, okay? Meaning it's too low. So if you have your simple monitor on that, the same height as your keyboard, when you stand, it's not gonna be great. It might have been great when you were sitting down, but now you're standing up, she's gonna get a neck problem because she's gonna spend her whole day or the hour she's standing like that, okay? Or she's gonna come forward and hinge forward that way, okay? To get her head viewing down. You don't want that angle sort of down at 45 degree angle like that. You can't have that. So this monitor needs to go up and the height that it needs to be is eye level. Now, I would use something like this, just a simple razor. Some people use like um, pieces of paper or like reams of paper. You just gotta get this the right height, okay? so. It'll vary for everybody. It depends on how tall you are. It depends on how high this thing goes up. Remember, you're trying to get this the right height for your keyboard. That's the important part. Don't try and get this the right height for your screen. Get it the right height for your keyboard. Then you raise your monitor on top. So now, if you look her side on, her eye level is just about bang on with the top of the screen. That's where we want it, okay? So if you get someone from the side to look at your eye level, all right, is it in line with the top of the screen? And then she doesn't have to tilt her head at all. She can just look down and up that sort of 20 degrees. There's no head tilting needing to be done there. That will give her the ability to keep in that good alignment. So she can keep her ear over her shoulder, over her hips, over her foot, okay? And so she can stand there in an upright position without having to crane forward. So if you imagine if she had to sort of look forward all the time, there's gonna be a lot of strain here all day, which is not gonna be helpful. That'll lead into a few back issues. So this gives you ability to be fully upright, okay? So that would be the ideal position. Of course, some people are gonna run into problems if they've got multiple screens. That's when you're gonna need a very big wide standing desk, and that maybe has to be the electronic one. But for people who've got a single screen, 
this is ideal for them. Of course, things like phones and that sort of stuff are down low, but if you're not someone who's on the phone all the time, then that's fine to have it down there and pick it up. It's this keyboard and the screen is the most important part because that's usually what people are on most of the time. So that's basically the essential setup. The body is taking care of most of the posture, okay? So being in a standing position like that is going to be great for all the chain down through there and you don't have to worry too much about posture because you'll naturally stand in a decent posture. Some people have things to stand on. For Al, she doesn't need that, but um, this is her ideal setup. Now, the interesting thing, if you saw before, we didn't have this. So you watch what happens. If you raise your monitor and then you drop that sit to stand desk, and this is what we talked about before is, okay, what is your posture gonna be like once you bring that down? This is where people go wrong. If you drop that down again for me. So she's done her standing and hey, listen, standing might be for her two hours up. So it might be from eight to 10 in the morning and then from 10 to 12, she goes and then sits down to give her body a bit of a rest because she doesn't mind sitting down. Um, it's just, she doesn't want to be sitting down all day. Some people have to stand a lot more than that. But if you're going to be one of those people who then sits down, what you don't want to do is leave your keyboard there, okay? Because then her elbow is far too far forward. She needs to bring her keyboard back down in this position, all right? And then once you've got this position, she needs to make sure that she keeps that 90 degrees. Some people will drop their seat too low because they want to get their feet on the ground. Now for Al, if we, I'll just move this away here because this is a this is a makeshift footrest. It's a good idea for you guys if you haven't got a footrest. Can you see now her heels are not on the ground? Okay, so what Al tends to do, if you drop that seat down, she likes to go, okay, I'll drop the seat down to get my feet on the ground. But now she is actually pretty much too low. If you look at that angle, she's too low for a keyboard. She's raised up a little bit more. So what I'd like her to do, and the other thing too is, I'd rather have her hips a little bit higher than these. They're not too bad actually at this point, but I'd rather having a little bit higher because of the desk height. So the best thing to do is again, like we did before, fix this first. Have that sort of keyboard as the centerpiece of where your posture is, is changed, and then accommodate feet and accommodate screen after that. All right? So bring that up a little bit higher for me now. So she brings that up a little bit higher, meaning her now, her arms can sort of rest in a decent position here, but as you can see, her feet are off the ground. We can't have that. So here, you guys at home at work, grab a ream of paper. Maybe you need two reams of paper. Pop that under there. Get it the right height so she can then rest her feet, which means they're relaxed. She's not going to need problems under there. And again, she's got that height right correct. She's got this height right correct. This arm thing here is about how far into the keyboard she is. She either brings the keyboard back so her elbows are back, or she brings her body forward to that position, okay? Now, just a little side note on that. Some people, if they're dealing with paper, and this is coming into a bit of posture with workstations, is they push the keyboard away, okay, to do a bit of paperwork here, but then they leave the keyboard there. And what tends to happen is they'll then reach forward in that position. Now, being in that, sort of the body gets a bit strained so what she does is she'll tend to do this which is not great so you've always got to try and keep that keyboard back or return it back to that position the mouse down on the same level as well don't have the mouse up here have one arm up in this position so from the sit to stand things just bring it all back down and try and set it up spend two or three minutes just setting up your sitting posture now you notice we've left one thing behind if you look at her eye height now for her screen now, the screen that was good in the standing position is now not so good in the sitting down position. It's too high. So this is the only sort of drawback about sit to stand things. You've got to then change the monitor again. It's pretty easy. Just take that away, put it somewhere else, okay? And then she's got her monitor in the right position. If you look at that, bang, it's at eye level, okay? So that's a good setup for her. She just needs to be making sure she moves this around every time she sits to stand, okay? Now, even if you're standing, sitting down for an hour, you want that posture to be excellent so it doesn't cause any problems, and then just reversal when you're standing again. Some people, if you haven't got this sort of thing, actually have a razor built into their monitor. Now that's an ideal situation. So if you've got a new monitor that has a razor in the stem, then that just makes things easier because you can raise and lower it when you sit to stand. You can also do those finite adjustments to get exactly the right height depending on how tall or short you are when you're sitting down. So there's our little tips and tricks for today. Try and get those sorted to help you with your sitting to standing posture. Any other comments, drop them in the box below.